Hello and welcome back to my channel. A viewer of one of my videos recently posted a question about Premiere exports file size and that got me thinking that it would be simple to provide some guidelines about how format and bitrate affect the size and quality of the video exported. First of all, when we're talking about an MPEG type of video file such as an MP4, managing the file size is really simple. When you export a video, Premiere provides you options to specify the bitrate. The bitrate is usually in megabits per second. The formula to calculate file size is therefore length in seconds times bitrate divided by 8. So a 1 minute video with a bitrate of 10 megabits per second will be 60 times 10 divided by 8 megabytes, which is 75 megabytes. If you want to see what file size your video will be, Premiere shows you at the bottom of the export dialog. You can see here that changing the bitrate results in changes to the file size. The tricky thing, however, is that this formula for converting bitrate to file size is true no matter what your video resolution and frame rate are, and that has significant consequences. Each frame of a 720p video has 0.9 megapixels of data, 1080p has 2.1 megapixels, 4K has 8.3 megapixels, so it's four times the size of a 1080p and eight times the size of 720p. These resolutions translate directly into the amount of data in the video. And in addition, if you double the frame rate, that doubles the amount of data needed for the video. This means that the amount of compression needed to achieve a given bitrate will vastly increase the higher the resolution of the video and the higher the frame rate. A 60 frame per second 4K video will need to be compressed 8 times more than a 30 frames per second 1080p video to achieve the same bitrate. So you need to choose a higher bitrate to avoid degrading the quality of your video with higher resolutions. My recommendation is that you should choose one of the built-in presets in Premiere and adjust according to your needs from there. A word about CBR and VBR. CBR is constant bitrate and VBR is variable bitrate. MP4 type files don't attempt to include every frame of video in full. Keyframes are recorded at intervals and then following each keyframe there are several frames where only the difference from that frame is recorded. In practice it's a little bit more complicated than that but this provides the concept correctly. So in a rapidly changing scene where most of the frame is changing, a lot of data is needed. And conversely, for example, where a small object is moving against a static background, very little is needed. So not all parts of the video need the same level of compression. Variable bitrate takes this into account and is able to save you some file size by being smart about how much compression is needed for each part of the video. Why then would you ever use constant bitrate? Well, it can be better for streaming as it provides a constant flow of data for the video and reduces the risk of the video stalling or stuttering at points where the VBR may have used too high a bitrate for the viewer's connection speed. Modern codecs don't only look back for the differences to previous frames, but they also look ahead to what follows. With VBR, you have the option of one pass or two passes. If you choose two passes, then Premiere has the opportunity to be much smarter about how it applies the bitrate, and the result is higher quality for the same file size. The only downside is that the encoding process will take longer, probably twice as long. I recommend that you use this for your final export. Finally, when should you worry about file size? Well, if you're hosting the video on your website, you may want to avoid very high bit rates as the videos will take longer to load for users and increase the data traffic on your site. However, if you're uploading your video to YouTube, then YouTube will compress it using its own algorithms anyway. So you're best to upload at the highest, uh, you're best to upload at the highest quality video you can provide. For viewers with slower connections, YouTube automatically reduces the video resolution to retain smooth streaming. So there you have it. 
In general, I recommend that you use the built-in presets as a bitrate starting point. Use VBR and choose two paths for your final export and I hope that helps. So if you've enjoyed this video and benefited from it, then please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell and you'll be notified of the new videos as they're uploaded. I'm going to post a new video each week covering Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop and Lightroom. So if you're interested in learning about these projects, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell and get a new video every week.